my whole life. I played softball and volleyball and I ran track and I've always uh, loved being active. Um, when I got married, I wanted to be in the best shape of my life, so I was at the gym like 24 hours a day and I got in really great shape and shortly after I got married, I had two children and I wanted to be in the best shape of my life. I didn't want to always look back at my wedding pictures and wish that I looked like that woman again. So I had to find something that was more efficient in a shorter period of time because I didn't have the kind of time anymore being a crazy busy mom to spend so much time in the gym. So I found uh, HIT training, I found Body Rock and followed Body Rock. It is absolutely the most perfect thing that ever came into my life because of how quick the workouts are and how hard they are and I got in the best shape and I just wanted to share it with everyone at home because if you want the, the magic pill, you want the magic workout, this is it. So you have two kids and did you struggle with getting back in shape after you had your children? Yeah, I did. Um, with with each child, I gained 70 pounds. Wow. Yeah. And uh, any woman knows, after you have kids, your body doesn't go back to the way it was. Um, so the first, I want to say like 40, 50 pounds that I shed came off kind of quickly. And that last 20 was probably the hardest. Um, so I started working out. I started, you know, doing the hit workouts and body rock and my body just got in crazy shape. I'm in, I'm in better shape today than I was on my wedding day. <laughs> and you love it. I love it. Hello, we're back. I'm Melissa. I'm going to bring another workout for you today that is going to make your body hurt in a good way. I want you to work as hard as you can during this workout. There are five different exercises. It's going to be a rep challenge, which, which means that you're going to finish each rep before you move on to the next exercise. I'm going to go through each exercise right now as a tutorial and show you how to do each one. I will also show you the modifications. And that's it, let's go. Exercise number one, dragon walks. This is a fun, fun exercise, and a lot of people curse at me because it hurts so good. You're going to get in the push-up position, but you're going to start with your hands staggered. So the hand that's closest to your belly button, you're going to tuck that same knee to your elbow and do a push-up. And like a dragon. So now you're going to walk. So you're going to pick up that hand, and you're going to walk forward. Now this hand is closer to this knee, you're going to tuck that knee and do a push-up on that side, and so on, and so on. And then as far as you go, as far as you go, you're going to just turn around and start over. Hand closest to that knee that you're tucking, push-up. And this is about as fast as I want you to go. If you are a complete beginner, you can actually do these from your knees. So, from the push-up position on your knees, again, stagger, tuck that knee to the closer elbow, and push-up. And walk, knees still on the ground, and push-up. And if you want to make this nice and difficult... This is insane. <laughs> I love these, and they're fun. I recommend doing these on a mat or a softer surface. If you have carpet, that's ideal. If you're on a ridiculously hard surface like concrete or whatever, just do the walking. Don't do this. <laughs> okay, so I'm in the ready position. You go down into the dragon walk and you explode up. <laughs> Whole body comes off the ground <laughs> and you land back on your hands. Again. walking a uh, dragon walk. That's exercise number one. Exercise number two is rocket launchers. So I'm going to be adding some extra weight. For you at home who are just beginning, you are not going to use any weight at all. This is for the most advanced. So you can just hold the weight right here at your chest. 
and you're going to you're going to squat three times one two three then you're going to explode in the air and then land softly back on your feet so again one two three explode if you're a complete beginner no weight at all and you can just do the three squats one two three and you can either jump up in the air or if even that gets too difficult one two three and just stand up one two three stand up you got to know each modification because the point is not to stop so if you're doing the weight and it becomes too hard you want to stop drop the weight then do the rocket launches without the weight if you feel like after that you still want to stop do it like i just showed you where you just stand up so that's exercise number three or excuse me number two rocket launchers exercise number three is superman power-ups these are a lot of fun so you're going to need your mat and get onto your belly and you're going to extend your arms and legs out like superman and you're going to lift your feet and your hands off the ground hold them for one second then you're going to bring your hands right back to your chest get onto your tippy toes and you're going to explode your whole body off the ground and back down extend lift If you are a complete beginner, you can still do the extent the lift and go back here and you can just power up if you want, back down and do it like that. But if you feel like you're a little bit more advanced than that, but you don't want to power up your whole, your whole body off the ground, you can just extend and then just maybe your the top half off the ground. So it would look like this. And that is a Superman power-up. That was exercise number three. Exercise number four is a one-leg burpee combo. So, I don't prefer a mat for this one. So, it's a burpee. So, like a burpee, you're going to put your hands down on the ground and jump both feet back. Then, you're going to do a tuck with one knee to your chin up one leg push up you're not putting that foot down to the ground you're going to jump that one foot forward jump up and then you'll switch so you'll jump back both feet now you're going to tuck your other knee to your chin extend out push up jump that leg forward jump up and if you are a complete beginner you can do those push-ups from your knees you can also just stand up instead of doing a jump. So this is for my beginners. Hands down, jump or step back, down to your knees, extend, push up. And you can actually just do both feet forward and jump up or just stand up. So this is the speed I would like you to go. That was exercise number four, a one leg burpee combo. Exercise number five is a leg drop and crunch. I always like to end my workouts with a nice ab burner. So you're going to need your mat and get on your back. You're going to start with your feet up in the air. You can put your hands out to the side or put them back behind your head, it's up to you. I like to put them out to the side for more stability. And you're going to drop your feet, lift them back up, and then hands behind your head and do a crunch, elbows to your knees. So it's a drop and crunch. And that's it. That was exercise number five. A leg drop and crunch and that's it so again rep challenge i hope that you enjoyed each exercise 
Try to do them by yourself before you begin the workout. That way you can just keep going. You don't have to stop and try to remember what the exercise is. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye.